Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica here with Summer Huntington of Floshala. And today we are going to talk about heavy club swinging and steel mace open hip conditioning. Today we are going to demonstrate the same movement with both a heavy club and a steel mace. The steel mace will use a stepping pattern to move us from closed hip conditioning to open hip conditioning. Summer, will you explain the difference between closed hip conditioning and open hip conditioning? So open hip conditioning is generally our lateral movement where we're swaying from right to left. And usually we'll find the feet will be rotated either 45 degrees or in the most common yoga pose, which is warrior two, the feet will be perpendicular. So we define open hip conditioning by external rotation in the hip joint. The reason that this is important is because turning patterns in all sport. If you're thinking about defensive martial arts, turning around to see something behind you, to face something behind you, is going from closed hip to open hip back to closed hip. Anytime you're in any sport and you're doing cutting and changing directions rapidly, you are going from closed hip to open hip to closed hip again. So you wanna make sure that you're training both closed hip and open hip, and then using more advanced drills over time to work on the footwork transitions between the two ideas. We're gonna demonstrate this drill in a couple of different ways two hands on heavy club, single hand on heavy club, then moving to mace with stepping pattern. Point two feet straight ahead for this drill. That is key because we are rotating our ankles, knees, and our hips with load. If we turn out a lot on this drill, we will do really bad things to our knees over time. Point your feet straight ahead. Two thumbs point towards the sky, stack your hands on top of each other, pick up the club. We will be doing an outside pendulum. Think of this as an outside hang power clean. Something you can't really do effectively with barbells at all. Something you can kind of do with kettlebells. Something that is best trained with heavy club and mace. Order position. Outside means the top hand, the hand closest to the tip of the club, moves away from our center line. Rotate your hips 45 degrees, your spine 45 degrees. The movement starts from the leg. The foot is pointed straight ahead. If we were turned out and we were to start this movement, it looks bad on the knee because it is bad on the knee. Rotate, push, swing, pull, catch. Come back to center, rotate to restart, push, swing, pull, catch, come back to center. As you become more advanced, you will take the bottom hand away, but everything else remains the same. Push, swing, pull, catch push, swing, pull, catch, start and end by pushing with the opposite leg and absorbing with the leg. Push, swing, pull, catch, come back to center. That was a closed hip drill. My feet were pointed straight ahead. I was rotating my ankles, knees, and hips, but it's still a closed hip drill. Summer will now demonstrate the open hip stepping version of this. So this is a compound exercise, which means we're doing exactly what Mark did in moving into lateral movement. So this assumes that the athlete already has the vocabulary of performing a warrior two lunge, which I've demonstrated in previous videos and which we demonstrate at our steel mace and staff seminars and workshops. Start with the mace on the ground. Use your glutes to propel the mace into the swing. Anticipate the load coming into order position. Elbow must touch the rib here. From here, drive the mace into horizontal overhead position. Wrists are neutral, and now you're entering an open hip position. Squeeze the back glute on, hold and stabilize, and pack the shoulders. Return to closed hip, both feet point straight ahead. Cast, swing, catch. Move into your warrior two lunge. You can perform this slow at first, especially if open hip conditioning is new to you. You can start shallow and just ensure that the back leg is straight, the front knee is externally rotated and it's lined up over the toe. Over time, your warrior two lunge might get a little deeper and the front knee might come down to about 90 degrees. Mark will now demonstrate this compound exercise with a heavy club. If you are performing this at home, please use a 10 or a 15 pound club. And generally you would be holding the club right here at the barrel. Mark's gonna be demonstrating holding at the end of the club. The technique that I am using is used for people who are more advanced, but we don't have a light club here. So we're gonna use my advanced technique. 
Right, so Mark will start in his ready position, finding his hip hinge, placing the club just outside of his left foot. He'll perform a couple side swings and then pull it into order when he's ready. So compound, meaning there's two phases of the exercise. Our side swing into order, and then he'll lift the right leg, step into warrior two position, and then press the mace overhead. He's capturing at the top of the muzzle and coming into full shoulder pack. So now he's in his open hip posture. His legs are in a perfectly aligned position, and then he can pull the club back to order position, start to straighten the leg, and dynamically come back into his closed hip posture. Cast, swing, and catch. Grab the top of the muzzle, step, bring the feet into the perpendicular position, option to press the club overhead. You don't have to press the club overhead. And also one thing that's really important, Mark, let's try that again, full grip confirmation here. All right, side swing into order with grip confirmation, squeezing the club with all five fingers connected, shoulder pack, leg is in external rotation and we're in an open hip posture. Last one. Breathe out on the downswing, breathe out on the catch. And he's moving even more dynamically into combining and marrying those movements together. As we progress in our athleticism, we can start combining movement patterns. So in Mark's demo of the heavy club side swing to pendulum, he was performing the closed hip conditioning, and then we added a layer. We added the open hip conditioning. The benefit of training open hip conditioning with a light load and performing it dynamically is you'll improve your athleticism, your coordination, your agility, and you'll actually open your hips so that you have more mobility, which results in more power. Training never ends. There is always more complexity that you can add to any topic. Most people will work on plain closed hip conditioning for a long period of time with a heavy club. They will start with say a 15, men will build up towards a 50, women towards maybe a 25 or a 30, depending on frame size, but they are multi-year training programs. If you wanna shortcut that, then you add something like steel mace vinyasa in there because you work on the stepping patterns. You work on these stepping patterns and postures that are universal human movements that apply to sport, that apply to dance, that apply to martial arts. An excellent way to do this is to focus on a heavy club progressive program two days a week, steel mace vinyasa two days a week, and then you can work on even more conditioning with say kettlebells two days a week. And of course, somewhere in there, you gotta focus in on some body weight training, which would be get up programs. The ideas never end. You can continue to train forever for the next 10, 20 years without ever repeating your program exactly the same way every day. You should be getting stronger every year, not getting worse every year.